This is what Pastor Archer does on his days off. So we have uh, Laura Lynn Thompson, friends. There you go. I have to say that on her record, she was supposed to he be here 25 minutes ago. But that's Laura Lynn. She takes her time looking Sorry. good. That's why she's looking a lot better than I look. This is awesome. This is so, awesome. We're going to put um, Laura Lynn on the mic. Let her say a few words to you. Um, she's visiting Calgary. One of the heroes of Canada. A person that fought against tyranny from the very beginning and is still fighting, exposing and um, cheering people up. I mean, the most important message during the time that we are living, during the evil times that we have right now is giving people hope. And that's what she does. It's not just information how bad it is. The information how good it can be when God shows up. I'm going to give you George the Fluffy. Oh, okay, okay. By all means. So this is what Pastor Archer does when he's not in jail or in court, <laughs> right? He's out here. This is a hero. This is wonderful. And David, it is so good to see you. Hello. You're not in jail either. Praise God, we survived everything that they've ever tried to put against us. And we're, we're starting to see victory in this nation. And I'll tell you what, there's lots of plans of the enemy, but God is God. He will have dominion from sea to sea. He will do what is right. He will do what is just. He will do what is good for his people. I'm pretty excited because some people are beginning to expose a lot of bad things going on. Yesterday, I interviewed uh, Dr. William Mackis. Do you know this man? Dr. William Mackis is a great hero in Canada, along with Pastor Archer and David. And Pastor, uh, Dr. William Mackis is exposing corruption. He is exposing pedophilia. He's exposing the undergirding of what the enemy is trying to destroy Canada with. And we know that as the light is brought to these things, it is going to go far and wide. Dr. Bonnie Henry, Dr. Teresa Tam, different ones, the AH, AHS that tries to cover up evil in our land is not going to go unnoticed. And so we trust that as God shines his light onto the evil, it will be exposed and then removed, and then removed from our nation. So I'm pretty excited that God takes care of us. I heard a great word this morning at another service that I was in in Calgary, and they were talking about how when God did what he did, he offered his son Jesus on the cross. When Jesus came, he paid the price so that our sin is done, so that our failure is done, so that we are righteous. And he dared to use the word perfect, that we are perfect in Christ, that God takes all that failure, he wipes it away, he puts Jesus' robe of righteousness on you. So once you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, thank you, security guards. You're doing an awesome job today. We appreciate you. And, and once you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are no longer the old man. You are now renewed. You are righteous. And you were born for such a time as this. We were born to conquer. So I'm super excited. I'm waiting for the apocalypse, everybody, because we are going to have the time of our lives. If they want to bring on the assault, we're ready for them because God is more powerful. And people need to get back to this one thing, the fear of the Lord and not the fear of man. Because I'm not afraid of any man. No demon nor man has any control or source of our life, but God himself deals with it all. When we trust him, he takes care of everything. And I'll tell you what, to all those who are workers of iniquity in our land, to all those who dare to come against the people of God, I'll tell you something, I would be afraid if I were them. I would be very afraid because God is watching and he has got a plan for us and he has protection for us. And I got told this morning, that I have angels that are just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I believe that. 
and I don't think anybody can come against me because the angels are powerful and they're taking hold. It's an honor to be here. Here's cold Calgary. And I want Canada to know something right now, that Pastor Archer Pavlovsky has gone through some of the worst things that any Canadian has gone through in our justice system. But guess what he's doing? He's out here serving the people. He's out here feeding. Uh, once we're done here, we'll just have a little look. They have all of this food. I, I don't even know what you do. You just bring all this out in the cold every... Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. I Three times a week. Three, three times, times a week. week, this is what you do. And his family is involved, his incredible son, his brother, his wife, Margena. These are people that are heroes in the nation. So, so bite your lip and bite your tongue if you ever have anything negative to say about Pastor Archer Bavlosky. Bite your tongue because these people are the people that are in this city making a difference. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty cold out here. But I'm warmed by the power of the Holy Spirit right now, so I'm doing okay. But it's a real pleasure to see God's handiwork. You know, the Lord says to feed those that are hungry and to care for those that are that are in need. And that is exactly what Pastor Archer does, and I absolutely love it. I declare that God is going to be the victor, everyone, that God is going to win. Even if it gets worse in Canada, we trust the Lord to be with us, that Psalms 91 will be our portion and our strength, that though a plague, like, you know, they're all threatening disease X now, right? Well, I bring it on, because disease X, uh, it might come nigh somebody else's tent, but it's not coming nigh our tent. We have angelic support from heaven to care for us, to be with us, to protect us from every plague, from every evil assault. And so we declare today that Canada is victorious. I am honored to be here, and I thank Pastor Archer Pavlovsky for giving me a chance to step in on his very cold life. Pastor Archer, I don't know how you do it. You do it three times a week in the cold, whether it's rainy, sunny, snowy. I've been here before with you. The last time I remember we were we were feeding the, the people and the police officers were taking pictures of us. I noticed they're not here today. I don't see them. So I think that's pretty good, Pastor Archer. Too cold for them. <laughs> and Antifa, yeah. God bless. God bless Calgary. And may all those who do evil know this one thing, that God is the judge of all things. And in his time and in his way, you will be dealt with in the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you for having me, Pastor Archer. Laura, I just, I just wanted to add that Laura Lynn Thompson is never late. She's always precise at the right time exactly. in the right place. Exactly. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. All you right. Need the mic, the mic, the mic, just for that. You know exactly which part. When Gandalf arrived into the village. So this is amazing. Hey, brother. Good to see you. Remember me? Yes, I used to I wear do. that nice stumbler. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. So you'll come out here in the cold as well, huh? All the time. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I watch the show all the time. That's awesome. In that way, there is personal. I don't think there is a good there. No, no, but there are as personal as a mandarin. Or bra. Bra? No, no bra. But you have a winter hat finally with you. That's good. That's good. Hi, everybody. It's so good to see you. Glad you're here. Hey, happy to be here. Hello, beautiful lady. You good come down you here every week, right? Every week with Marta Pelosi. Oh, with Marta. Bless you. Yes. Give a hug. Oh, good to see you, sister. You've been through a lot. This is David's wife. Good to see you. It's our next Navy SEAL. SEAL Team 6. That's awesome. Picture? Yes. All right, we'll take a picture. All right, thank you, Nathaniel. Thank you. Yeah, let's get more pictures. All right. Gonna be no, I'm gonna get one. Yeah, yeah. Or can just get another one. Come on, Jesus came and brought to me the victory. Oh, this is one 
wonderful. Canada, I just want you to know that I wanted to come down and catch Pastor Archer on what he does. Oh, look at my camera. It's so cold that my camera's frozen. Um, I wanted to see, what does Pastor Archer Bodlowski do on his days off? Do you know what he does? He feeds the poor. How are you, brother? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm doing very well. I'm one of the volunteers here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, for, you for your message. Thank you for your message. This You're giving him a rest. He oh, usually no. delivers a strong message. Amen. Thank you. You know what they say? That's uh, awesome. There is no hiding place from the Father of creation. That's we all right. have to give an account. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And look how wonderful this is. All of this food. This is what the folks, the good folks and the volunteers are doing down yes, here. Isn't it wonderful? Look at that. They do this three times a week. So I want to let you know that I'm, I'm pretty excited to let you know that Pastor Arter is doing the right thing. I mean, God bless this man. Seriously. God bless this man. Pastor Archer, before we say goodbye, this is pretty amazing. Thank you Well, for it's what cold you're today. Doing. We come here on Sundays, 1 p.m., so it's 2.30. And when it's very cold, people grab food and run for shelter, right? Yes. Uh, but I'm telling you, I would never change this for the biggest church on earth. I think we have the biggest roof on earth that God himself builds every day Amen. and um, this I've, is hard work Pastor Archer it is very hard work I mean my wife with volunteers they cook oh. all week long uh, the truckloads are coming every day during the week every day in and out somewhere so it's not just the homeless we're taking care of the poor families yes. and kids and so yeah, it is a hard, physically hard work. However, yes. it's the best. Yes. It's the best. And somebody's saying thanks for supporting the Coots boys and to try to get justice for these, the four political prisoners in jail today. Yeah. We pray for them too. I'll tell you, we will never, we will never let go of the story. As long as it needs be, we will be exposing we will be fighting, we will be crying for justice. So um, one day, I know because God said to me, one day we will see the victory in the political realm. And when that happens, we will revisit what they have done to us during those past four years and justice will be served. And we pray for justice in your situation and you're going forward with something very powerful for Canada. So yeah. we love you, Pastor Archer. Thank, Thank you. you for what Thank you, you so do. Much. Thank you are you. awesome. God bless look you. At, look at the volunteers, I the know. kids, everyone. Yes. It's like incredible. It really is. So God bless you all. I'm going to say goodbye. This is what Pastor Archer Kowalski does on his spare time. And uh, I'll tell you, I don't I don't like anybody putting that man down. It's really amazing what he does. So I'm pretty cold cool right now. I'm going to get my gloves on. And uh, see, because I'm holding the phone, you know, I mean, my, my fingers are literally falling off. I love you guys. I love you, Canada. Support and pray for Pastor Archer from Boston. Bless you. Bye-bye.